Okay, so um, got a question on um, uh, levels of consciousness and correlation to surrender and the flow. Well, surrender, what, what does surrender mean? Well, what do you have to surrender? Well, uh, I think uh, Hawkins book, uh, tra uh, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness, is probably the best book on the subject. If you want to know what are the blocks at each level of consciousness, the dualities that underpin a guilt, shame, fear, uh, acceptance, neutrality, um, love, and unconditional love and enlightenment. So at each, uh, so uh, enlightenment, of course, is the ultimate level. That's when there's no ego. That's complete surrender of all ego positions, uh, positionalities and dualities until there's the, only the infinite presence, the timeless now that exists. Everything of the ego has been dissolved and released mystically. And so that's that's a uh, 100% surrender because there's no ego left. But why is one tied into fear, levels of fear, shame, guilt, or even neutrality or, or love or not unconditional love or not bliss or not enlightenment? Well, each level has certain... Uh, positionalities that are associated with Let, let's take an example uh, the one i often talk about uh, which i contemplate the, the difference between the level of love and unconditional love love is like i'm loving most of the time but there's certain situations and people in which i'm not loving so i feel love part of the day and then when i meet a person or a situation i don't like then i'm in fear or guilt or shame or something so i'm really my my deeper vibration is love, not unconditional love. So to get to unconditional love, I have to surrender the dualities and positionalities of the certain situations and people that I do not love. So I have to be willing to do the spiritual work until those are dissolved through whatever counseling, praying for miracles, uh, the observer, uh, allowing feelings, feeling the feelings, whatever mechanism I use to dissolve those dualities until unconditionally love arises in every situation, in every context, and there's no doubt. So that's how you move from the level of consciousness of love to unconditional love. What about going from, uh, uh, I mean, let me just take some random examples, going from um, fear to anger. Well, if I'm just sort of like hiding in my room in fear, uh, if I start cancelling my beliefs of fear, start... Um, start uh, praying to surrender my fears, start allowing myself to allow the fear and feel the feelings with the fear or go to the observer of the fear, then that fear will start dissolving and I'll shift up to, the, that will dissolve the, the underpinnings of the fear that are holding fear and my time to the level of fear. And I'll go up to the next level, which will probably be something like, I'll be angry now, which is a higher vibration than fear. So I'll be, uh, but then I'll have to dissolve the dualities and positionalities of anger to get up to the next higher vibration, for example, pride, and then up to courage and neutrality. So each level has its dualities and positionalities and feelings that have to be resolved, transcended, transmuted, or forgiven. Uh, and then one uh, attains the next level up, which is a, a more ease and flow and a higher vibration all the way up to enlightenment depending but you have to bit by bit dissolve the dualities that um, make you vibrate at the lower vibrational frequencies if you like so that's um, um so that's why uh, so how do you do that well you it's kind of obvious you know if it's your what are your fearful thoughts and use the spiritual work to dissolve those fearful thoughts what are the fearful feelings dissolve that or the angry feelings and angry thoughts what are what are the uh, um, conditionally loving thoughts you've got like I can only love you I can only love this situation I can only love God I can only love my body if it behaves this way that's conditional you see so you can't experience love to love the body even if it's uh, crippled or love others even when they're defective that's how you transmute uh, the various positionalities and dualities uh, my goal is enlightenment so that there is nothing left in the ego as a positionality duality or an identified feeling until only that infinite presence is all that remains. So I'll just stop here.